Hi everyone. I am in the Ochre Mountains, which are just southwest of Salt Lake City, Utah. Beautiful terrain here. The mountains create enough orographic precipitation that there is a mix of oak scrub and some coniferous forest like you can see behind me there. And I'm on my way up this mountain to a viewpoint of a very, fairly interesting geographic spectacle. It's a long trail. There is actually a rough 4x4 road to the top, but my normal ground clearance vehicle couldn't make it, so I'm doing it as a hike instead. Okay, I'm at my destination, which is a viewpoint above the Bingham Canyon Copper Mine, run by the Kennecott Mining Company, sometimes referred to just as the Kennecott Mine for short. This is a massive copper mine. It's been in operation for over a hundred years and is an excellent example of what we in geography call scarification that is human modification of the landscape. In this case, taking away a mountain that used to be here and is now the world's largest open pit by volume, by most measures. People argue about which mine is the biggest, but this one regularly ranks in the top of the list. It's two and a half miles wide. It's 3,900 feet deep from the highest excavation up here down to the bottom of the pit that you can't even see. It covers 1,900 acres. This is really massive. Just to get an idea about how massive it is, you can see that even here at 8 o'clock in the evening, the mining operations are continuing and this main road in and out of the pit is full of little ant-like trucks but those are the massive mining dump trucks that have tires much higher, much taller than I am. It's the, the, the biggest mining trucks around. So just to get an idea of scale there. This mine has had its share of environmental problems. For example, the runoff from the mine has polluted the valley uh, below it. Uh, resulting in some of the land that was actually settled by people building houses to have hazardous levels of heavy metals in the uh, topsoil and the, the material they were, they were building on. The mine has been actively working with the EPA to avoid being listed as a Superfund site and that process is ongoing of environmental remediation from the impacts of the mine, both its legacy pollution from previous operations and also its continuing operations today. This mine produces somewhere around a quarter of all copper produced in the United States. And you can see just what a truly massive operation it is from the scale of the thing here. You can also see its situation uh, with respect to Salt Lake City. You can see Salt Lake City in the distance behind me to get an idea about what's going on here. Obviously an important uh, source of employment for the people who live near the mine and the associated industries with the copper industry that uh, is, is produced from this mine.